Welcome to Health and Fitness Channel. What's the difference? True tea, whether it's black, green, white, or oolong, hot, or iced, comes from the tea plant, Camellia sinensis. But the herbal kind comes from soaking various flowers, leaves, or spices in hot water. Most of these brews don't have caffeine. You can start with pre-made bags or loose material you steep and then strain out. Herbal teas are also called tisans. 1. Hibiscus. This flower, which originally came from ancient Egypt, produces a red brew full of antioxidants. Some small studies have found that it can lower blood pressure. Could it also cut cholesterol? It shows promise, but researchers want to investigate it more. As long you as you drink it in moderation, it's considered safe. 2. Echinacea. Coneflower, its common name, is known as a cold remedy, but science doesn't really back that up. It does seem to boost the immune system, and researchers are studying it as a treatment for the flu. If you're pregnant or have allergies or asthma, it's best to steer clear. It can also affect how well certain drugs work. 3. Sage. People have used this herb for centuries for issues that include stomach problems, sore throats, depression, and memory loss. Will it really help you with any of those? We don't know because there's not much research on it, and the existing studies are flawed. It's safe to use as a spice or seasoning, but some varieties have an ingredient, thujone, that can affect your nervous system. 4. Passion Flower. Some say this wildflower eases anxiety and helps you sleep, and some research supports those claims. You shouldn't drink the tea if you're pregnant. It can affect the way some medicines work, including pentobarbital and benzodiazepines. It might also cause drowsiness, dizziness, and confusion. 5. Turmeric. It comes from a root that's related to ginger. People use it to prevent gas and also to treat kidney stones, though there's no scientific basis for any of that. Studies in animals show that it may help prevent cancer and reduce inflammation, but researchers need to look into those effects in humans. If you're getting chemotherapy, you should know this herb may interfere with your treatment. 6. Valerian. Women use this plant to relieve symptoms of menopause, and you might also take it for insomnia, anxiety, or depression. It hasn't been studied much, so scientists can't really say whether it helps these conditions. Some research suggests it might help you sleep. It's generally safe to use it for a short period of time, but because it might make you sleepy, don't mix it with alcohol or sedatives. 7. Kava. This member of the pepper family, native to the South Pacific, is often promoted as a tonic for anxiety. Researchers have found that it may give a little relief for that condition, but they've also uncovered links to severe liver problems. People who drink a lot of it for a long time may have yellow or dry, scaly skin. The FDA has issued warnings about the risks of this plant, and some countries have tried to remove it from the market. Subscribe to the channel to receive the earliest sharing as soon as I release. Kindly share this video on your social media so we can help educate others. Wishing you and your family many blessings. Discover the best weight loss program. The SA Fast for your health. Click on the link in the description. Thanks you so much.